anyways, I, I, I don't want this to be, become like a complaining vlog. Like this is really it. Today I got something extra special for every single music producer out there. Something I hope will help as many people as possible. Something that took us months to actually prepare and fully finish. Something that includes a lot of the stuff that I use to make my music. Something you can get starting today. It's time, a new sample pack. I'm excited to share it with everyone out there. It's probably the best so far. But even if you think it's not the best so far, I think the offer is really, really something fair. It's just five bucks for the sample pack. You can download it straight away, but you also get included a coupon code that is in the zip file where you can download all of the previous sample packs. This right here is number seven. So you can get all of the previous ones for free included for the entire next week. The only one that isn't included is sample pack number one because that was exclusively released with Splice. So if you're interested, go check it out. First link in the description. I hope it helps you with your music production. I hope there's something useful for you in it that you can use. I'm pretty sure you can because it's filled with like kick samples, snare samples, head samples, loops, some um, vocal snippets. In some of the sample packs, we have MIDI files, entire logic projects of mine. We have guitar parts that were exclusively recorded for those sample packs. So again, we're doing all of this for just five. I think that's fair. Like most people charge 20, 40, 60, or even more. I'm happy to try and release these at the lowest price possible. And I think five, five is fair. I hope you agree. If not, let me know in the comments. It's time, it's time for some real talk. I promise not to talk anymore about that lawyer thing because I passed it on. It's evolving. And like I'm getting updates, it, oh, I, I can't even describe how frustrating it is. Then on top of that, the guys that showed up yesterday here blame me on the delay. They blame on me that they couldn't catch their train back, which is the most fucked up and ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Ever, 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 ever. Whew. They rented the place to film something. I sent them pictures. I sent them the size of it. And I told them, yes, we can move the couch and the table if needed. They showed up, were angry that I didn't move it, but I said, if needed, no one told me to move it. How can I know what they need? I then within five minutes moved everything, all of the cables disconnected, moved, 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 speakers, placement, you know how much effort it is to get it back to like acoustically perfect. I still did it. I still stayed extremely friendly, but then getting an email saying it's my fault that it took longer and like, I wrote them. I'm personally disappointed. They can go and fuck themselves. I don't care. I will not answer anymore. I will not deal with it. That's it for me. Like the past couple of weeks, annoying. Like small stuff. It's not something very dramatic. It's like one company owes me 1,200. The other ones, like it's more like on a personal level because I'm being really nice and I'm trying my best, and I'm definitely not lazy. I would do anything they wanted, like, perfectly. That's that's how I usually work, but if no one communicates with me in a proper way, it's really not my fault. And then blaming me for the train being late and them not catching their train back in time, that's not me, 100% not me. Anyways, I, I, I don't want this to be, become like a complaining vlog, like, this is really it. Because my main goal in life is making music as much as possible, which I couldn't really focus on the last couple of days, and making these videos. Those are two things 
I absolutely love. That's where my passion is at. That's where I, I know a bunch of stuff about. That's what I just like doing. And everything else, everything else, is just a huge distraction for me and just makes me angry. Every second I lose focusing on these two things makes me just angry. I thought really long how to solve it. Number one would be just not to do all of these two things anymore, not to offer them, not to like do it just straight away. But I think that's like the coward approach. Because if you don't do stuff, nothing happens. You don't get further. Like bad stuff just happens. I do a lot of stuff, a lot that I don't even share here. I'm very active. I'm trying to move everything forward. So eventually some things go wrong. So I think the solution, the best solution is just to employ people, more people. I have right now two people assisting me. One of them is about to leave, so we need a replacement and maybe even an additional person. So we're looking for interns and we're actually looking for people that are able and willing to come here and work here for me and help me. So I can focus on making music and making these videos to the best of my abilities and not deal with all of that kind of bullshit. So if you're interested, down below in the description, you can apply in a form, check it out. I would love to have new people here in the studio to help me. I, again, just want to focus on music and videos. That's it. I hate everything, everything else. Good relief, no more stress, and also a good example for how much fun you can have here working for me at Accents. Yeah, it's exactly pretty funny here. Yeah, it's very good. <laughs> I love this place. As much trouble as it indirectly creates, I love it. And I can't wait to finish it. There is not much left anymore. Like, I think if I had all the material and I would like power through one week, it could be done within a week, no problem. But the material, that's that's a problem. That's, that's a problem. Still, still waiting for stuff. Can't believe it. So I think I need to relax even a little more. Ah, feeling fresh again. Next up, visiting my parents. Dinner. This was nice, this was good. Dinner with my parents. Vanessa is now also here. Picked her up from a party. Yeah, it's kickoff time. Kickoff time, her company threw so, a party. Put on your war, war paint. paint. Yeah. They have to Price fight. Rise like a phoenix, yeah. Tourism is hard at the moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but one more thing like I, I complained a lot in the last days due to these companies being really annoying But I had my grandma on the phone today and she Like she's in Miami. She's actually from Israel. She's in Miami right now and she is now I think half a year, right? More yeah, Corona she, yeah, before Corona. Half, yes. she, she's been there like two or three months before Corona started. Yeah, so way more than half a year. She broke her hip, which is... No, she did not. She did not? Oberschenkelhalsbruch, it's not the Yeah, hip. I know. I don't know what it is in English, so I said hip. It's like the bone underneath, whatever. Like it, it, She broke a bone and she then got to a rehab facility to make sure she can walk again. And she is in there ever since basically a prisoner. She can't leave the room. She can't do anything, go anywhere. Like people can't meet her all due to COVID. They locked up the entire facility. That's horrible. So. I feel really bad for her. I wish I could help, but there is no way. We have to wait until this is over. <sighs> I feel so sorry. She's so old and like like your last couple of years, you want to spend them with your grandchildren and just like enjoy and have fun. And she's locked up there entirely, which is, yeah. Which makes all of my complaining so little, so whenever you have a problem or I have a problem, think of other people's problems that are way bigger 
and your problems feel very tiny, tiny and small again, which makes it a lot easier to get through. If you're interested, I made actually an entire video with her. It's, it's an old video. I was in Miami, I think three years ago, maybe four. And the video is about my origins and of course also about her. So if you're interested, I'll link it down below. Also, don't forget sample pack and applying as an intern or working for me full-time job if you're interested. Yeah.